Hey guys, it's Minister Q. Um, I did have a testimony I was sitting on. I was trying to figure out how to share with you guys. And, you know, you know, especially when it comes to my friends and people's names that I don't want to reveal, you know, just to, um, you know, be respectful and safe and nice. Um, you know, I had a friend of mine, uh, you know, one of my good friends, you know, I haven't seen in a while. And they came to babysit uh, along with my daughter. You know, because I was working the night shift, ten to six p, ten p.m. to six a.m. Um, on my night job, and you know, my friend, <clears throat> you know that my friend told me that they never, um, they're they're not a dreamer. They're not a person who dreams, and that left me know a lot because my anointing. You know, I, I just. I'm not gonna say I despise it, but I'm humble. Like I don't, I don't really think too much of it. And and when I was young, eighteen, nineteen, you know, I believe God is speaking to me through my friends. Um, eighteen, nineteen years old, I had a friend get woken up, you know, running away from angels in my house. Um, you know, manifestation. So you know, my anointing manifested in my friend. Like my friend never has dreams. And my friend awoke and was just like, "Hey, Q, I need to speak with you." And I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" And they went into a dream and said, hey, I had a dream, you know, and, I, and after the dream, I'm like, well, and, you know, they were like, well, what do you, what do you feel about the dream? You know, and I'm just like, well, are you a natural dreamer? And, and my friend is just like, no. And I'm like, wow, whoa. And I'm like, well, I've been known, you know, to have messenger angels in my house. And my friend never <laughs> responded back for a while. And, uh, I mean, it's true, you know, I have messenger angels around me, like I've, you know, like I've always said, you know, manifestations um, of messenger angels and just, you know, God's power, and, you know, around me and his anointing. But, you know, for me, I'm very humble. I love God and I, I, I do what God tells me to do, which is love your enemy, you know, uh, go above and beyond, you know feed people i have a friend tonight i also want to give a testimony you know he's hungry he's texting me he's like you know q he's like i don't have any food you know i need money i need like at least 20 bucks i check my bank account you know i have enough money you know i'm i'm going to go with my friend and feed him uh get him something to eat uh this is my friend who's suic who's suicidal uh so i'm gonna take some time out and spend some time with my friend and um Still got that on. Uh -huh, no, I should be out of it. I gotta do laundry. So I'm tired, y'all. I tried to go to sleep and I just couldn't. So I'm gonna go. I gave the address to my house and he's gonna uh come over. Um uh, and I'm gonna take him to get something to eat. Um also as well, like it, it inspired me to get a morning job and I you know, you know, God, you know, uses people, he uses anyone. And I wanted to encourage you guys because God uses anybody to speak to you. And and what I mean by don't despise who and what God is giving the TV, dream a child, yourself. If you've never been in that area and God is taking your faith higher through visions and dreams, you know, listen to God in every aspect, in every life, in every area, however he speaks. You know, listen to God and say, God, if this is you, I don't know if it's you. I need you to, you know, talk to me, you know, uh, bring yourself more. Sorry, bring yourself more to the forefront. So I can understand you. <clears throat> um, but I want to thank God. It inspired me to move quickly from the desire I already had to have a morning job. But, you know, the dream was that uh, my, my friends said they were asleep. And um, somebody came knocking on the door, pulling and knocking on the door. And I was just like, okay. And uh, my friends said they got up and uh, they checked the door to see if somebody was there nobody was there and it was just like the dream was oh my gosh pull the knock on the door got up because it seemed so real and um that sparked me to get a a, a morning job so yeah uh, you know i'm, I'm deciding you know because i was deciding okay should i let go of my night job should i should i not because right now i got two jobs and i'm like mm, i think i should let it go listen to god that's a warning let me go ahead and go and i believe you know god opened that door for it Sure stop. So, you know, with no further ado, you know, that's that's what it's gonna be and I'm going to um you know 
uh, go go with that. So 